okay uh, dear students welcome back uh, i actually had a very bad time with my last video recording i recorded a video for 1 hour and when i ended i came to know that i'm not capturing whole screen i'm just capturing a small part of the screen anyway i'm re recording this video again remember <coughs> this video is probably a kind of gist for all the learnings that we had uh, during last 3 4 weeks uh, we have covered java swing we have covered event handling we have covered jdbc now we are going to put everything together uh, in this video uh, i am not going to cover anything new but just applying whatever we had learned in our previous 3 4 weeks uh, remember in this video what i will be doing i will be having a frame Uh, in that frame, I will have two panel, and and each of the panel will be <coughs> under a tab. The first tab will be uh, to show all the records from the database, and the second tab would be to update a new record. Right. So the first tab, when you will click, you will see all the records which are available in the uh, book data set, and the second tab. Uh, when you click you will be provided with a form and when you fill that form and click on submit button you will be able to update a new record right so let's work on this uh, first of all uh, you can see uh, i'll be working on this data set which is my uh, book data set if i select all from uh, from book you can see these are the records i have in my uh, select store from from book right so you can see i have all these records available in my <coughs> book table of books data set so i'll be referring to uh, this data set okay so <coughs> i'm going to create a new project i call it jdbc swing right jdbc swing uh i i will be creating a new project uh, a new project that will be java application it has to be java oh, what what's happening okay java application next right i name it <coughs> jdbc with the swing <coughs> okay so in this jdbc with swing uh i am going to create first of all as i told you earlier we will have two panel one panel for showing database records and second panel for updating a new record right so let's create a panel for displaying all the records in the database so class display records right this is my panel that extends from j panel right i will have to fix import okay <coughs> j panel j panel right okay fix import right okay so display records like this display display records okay so in this what i'm going to do i need to add a table right so you know that a table is created by a two argument and both of them are array of string the first is the two dimensional array of string which are, are, are represent records and second is uh, actually title of the uh, table right <coughs> wait a minute okay okay so <coughs> i will have two strings so the first string is actually columns right equal to i will have three columns 
the first column is id the second column is uh, title and the third column is publisher right okay now the second uh, string has to be a two dimension string which will be representing records from the data set now i really don't know how many records i have so i cannot say it uh, first di second dimension i mean first dimension because first dimension is the row second dimension is the column so i know second dimension but i don't know first dimension right for example if i say a string uh, records uh, it has to be two dimension because i'm creating a table a records new a string i don't know this dimension but i know this dimension eh? i know this dimension has to be three but i don't know this dimension eh? so say for example i write here integer uh, dimension uh, initially equal to zero right so this will be my second dimension this will be my uh, first dimension rather uh, number of rows and number of records so i can write here dimension one right initially it is zero because i don't know but later i will be updating it right okay so here what i'm going to do i uh, query my data set and in order to query my data set i will have to you know copy this code uh, yes this is up to try i can write here okay 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 okay, okay. right so my try is ending here and then i have catch exception e right system dot out dot print ln e right okay so you can see here i have i'm loading driver i have url to my data set i open connection to the database and then i create a statement and then i select a star from books right so here i'm doing the thing i actually issue this query to the data set right okay now you can see here i first need to count how many records are there in data set so that i can update my dimension one right so i say while rs dot next right i say nothing just dimension one plus plus so that i can know how many records are there in database right so control x now when this ends you know that this dimension one is actually uh, keeping a record of how many records we have in the database right so i now create here the records uh, two dimension uh, array which will actually be having first dimension number of records and these are number of columns in each record you know that there are three columns in each of the records now remember when you execute this you know that your pointer is now pointing to the last record so you need to come back to the first record mm -hmm. because when you will actually be uh, extracting records you need your pointer at the right place so if you want your pointer to be at the right place then i can write here again result set equal to again i execute this query so that my pointer is actually pointing to the first record right okay so now my pointer is pointing to the first record now what i do i run this loop again right and then each time i will be getting record and storing values uh, in the table right so i can write here maybe an integer index which is initially equal to zero right so here i say records at index zero right we will we'll get the id so i say that result set dot get dot get integer dot get integer and i say first so this will give me you know uh, integer id i need to convert it into a string so integer dot true string i need to convert this into a string right so 
I got the ID and now I need title and title and publisher right so get a string this they are already in a string uh, so I can write here rural set dot get a string I pass it to right and here result set dot get a string uh, get a string uh, three three right okay so I get book title I place it on you know initially it is zero so zero zero I will have ID zero one I mean first column of the uh, first record uh, the sec uh, you know this is book title and then this one is book publisher right you know when this loop ends we actually have all the records in our two dimensional array with the name records when this is done I create a J table I create a J table and I say table equal to new J table I pass records and I pass columns right so you know that our table has been created and it has got all the records with the correct title our title we have passed statically right uh, but our uh, records are being extracted dynamically right now once the table has been created i'm going to add this table in our panel add table right so i'm, I'm adding table into panel okay now when this is done what i'm going to do i've got a j frame i've got a uh, another class i call it my frame that extends from uh, j frame right so inside this i will be adding this panel also the panel which will be used for updating record right so my frame and this is the constructor uh, my frame I have already created it so I can say the size of the frame I can call it 400 by 400 right uh, and then I can uh, say it default close operation j frame dot exit and close right uh, say it D E F A U L T. Say it default close operation, exit and close, right? Uh, and then <coughs> I need to add panel in it, but that panel will be through J tab pan. So J tab pan pan equal to new J tab pan. Right? I have created tab pan. Uh, I need to fix import okay and then pen dot aid inside this pen i'm going to add panel uh, with the title display records new new display records new display records right so we are going to add panel the title of the panel will be display records and I'm adding uh, my panel which I have created here, which is actually display records. Right now, once if this is done, then I say uh, say it visible through so that I can display my frame. Right. Okay. Let's see if I'm able. Oh, I have not added pen. Eh? Uh, I have added, uh, you know panel in the pen but I have not added pen in the frame so I, I have to add pen in the frame okay now if I run this uh, will it be successful huh? okay I haven't done anything eh? inside main I haven't done anything so inside main I'm going to create so I can write here my frame frame equal to new my frame this will call the constructor run it okay okay nothing 
display records but we do not see records because there is a class not found exception jdbc driver jdbc driver okay now when you see this problem it means that you do not have a jar file on your class path so you need to add jar file in your class path and you do this by adding it uh, i believe here libraries add jar so add jar spring 20 uh, mysql connector right i hope that now this will not be an issue run it okay we have table we have column but what is this good to great okay come on uh what's happening man let's check where we are making ah okay 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 you got the idea uh we are not uh, we are not having this increment in the index so all the records it is putting on the first row all the records it is putting on the first row whereas we want that each record should be on the new row okay let's check it again okay you can see here now all the records are properly displayed but i'm still wondering why labels are not displayed why labels are not displayed maybe i can start it with the one right run it uh array index out of bounds exception okay okay index is one then it causes array index out of bounds exception uh let me check it run it again array index out of bounds exception so this has to be with zero record set zero equal to this columns why columns are not being displayed it should be uh i have this table in this table all the records are coming from database uh but i don't know why but my columns are not being displayed we will we'll handle it at some later stage but you got the idea that when you click on this column we are doing nothing we are actually uh, getting all the records from database and displaying it in j table right j table has got these column column headings uh j table data and column heading right data and column heading so column headings are here so why in our case it is not displaying ah uh, j scroll pen okay uh said with jsp everything is okay but why it is not displaying my columns mm, column heading okay uh when you create table data and column heading we have this data which is coming from database and column heads are same j scroll pen j scroll pen j ah oh, scroll we have to add it into scroll pen okay i think that is the problem uh okay j scroll pen we have to add table in the scroll pen so j table not add the table directly but j scroll pen scroll pen equal to new j scroll pen scroll scroll double l okay scroll pen j scroll pen we are creating this and then this scroll pen is being uh, updated in the table right so we need to a scroll pane uh for okay right rather than adding table we need to add a scroll pane is scroll pane right okay now uh, let's run it can i see the column oh wow excellent right eh? i've got ids uh i have got ids i have got title and i have got publisher so you can see uh, we are able to 
fetch all the records from the database and then adding them in the J table right I end this video here uh, when you come back we will be working on the second panel and that panel will be for updating a record thank you very much